Name? Uh, Josh Herdman. I play Teddy. Shanta Wachester. I play Detective Inspector Clark and I'm the producer. I'm Daniel Harold and I play Leanne. I'm Neil Ward and I play Finn. Fantastic and you all are... Too Grave! Fantastic, Too Grave. Okay, let's talk with you first. Yes, hi. Name again, remind oh, us. My name is Shanta Rochester. Okay, Shanta. I play Detective Inspector Clark and I'm one of the producers. Okay, let's talk to me about the inspiration behind Two Graves, the name. Okay, yes, yeah, so the inspiration is the director, writer director Gary Young. Um, he wrote a beautiful script which I read and it had kind of more of a male lead and we kind of worked it out and because of either of our company only concentrates on um, products that are basically female led in terms of directors, writers, producers and so forth. We kind of reworked it and it became female led and I was very happy behind it in front of the camera. Um, it's a revenge thriller and it's two women who take revenge on somebody who they think believes killed one of their sons. Oh, two women take revenge. Yes. We've got one of those women, women right here. <laughs> oh, you're a bad man, Gemma, right? All about the women. <laughs> so, um, your name again, please, sorry? Uh, Danielle. Uh, Danielle. So, how far away are you from your character to who you are in day to day life? Well, she's a prostitute, so I couldn't be more opposite. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, I'd like to find it. <laughs> well, yes, okay. I'd like to find the, you know, the. Like me. No, she's right. not, so. So, so the next question I'll ask to follow that is how difficult is it for you to get into to character with something so opposite to your, your own day to day life? Um, I find it easier getting into the character when right. it's not like you. Because when it's like you, you're like, am I just being me or am I yeah. kind of in this character? So when you've got someone totally different, it's wicked just to get into it. So tell us about your experience being on the film Two Graves. Uh, your favourite part without spoiling the movie for everybody. <laughs> oh, that is my favourite part. <laughs> Characters, who's a guy and a girl, right. but you don't really see that a lot. So, and he literally kicks her ass. So, I love that. Oh wow, great! Yeah. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> he holds her own as well. Right, you don't I like see that in film. Okay, cool. I see a man there busting up there, going red. <laughs> Tell me what's going on, sir. What is going on? Your name? Uh, Neil. Neil. Yes, yeah. um, so I'm on the receiving end of the uh, two women's uh, revenge. So, Ouch. Uh, yeah, definitely. So, uh, um, One's enough, two. So, so what does that feel like, taking an ass whooping? Uh, a woman, or, or yes. just in general? Just an ass whooping. <laughs> that's an ass whooping in the beginning. I've heard a lot of ass whoopings in the beginning. It's probably why they cast me. Yeah, no, it's, it's powerful. It really is, because uh, a lot of films these days you see a lot of uh, sort of revenge being taken from males onto females or males onto males and yep. it's just refreshing to see that that um, women go through the same pain as men do as well and it's, it's completely an equal backdrop for everybody if you have a, a passion and something's taken away from you you instantly want to do something about it and me being on the receiving end of all that was, was fun um, being uh, strapped to a chair for however many hours a day in the freezing cold in Sunderland in the shipyard was, uh, was incredible yeah but you step up and you do what you have to do uh, really, really incredible experience. Really so, good. what attracted you to this film? Um, <laughs> no, I got a phone call saying, "Do you want to be in it?" And I went, "Yes, yeah, please." Yeah. No, no. I <laughs> so, what it was is what happened was is that um, we were looking for something to play Finn, and myself and Gary, um, we had seen so many other people for casting, we, couldn't, we didn't know who to choose. Um, and then uh, I think it was actual Adam Barnett, the fantastic DOP, which I haven't given a mention yet, but I do have to give a mention because he's the reason why it looks so aesthetically beautiful as a film. Wow. Um, and um, he showed us a short film that he did, um, and it had Neil in it. Um, and we were like, wow, great. He sound, he looked perfect for it. So literally it was that kind of thing. And we were like, yeah, give him a call, you know, come down, meet everybody. And it was kind of like, yeah, they hit off. And then it was like, yeah, great. I think, I, was the, I think I was having the shit kicked out of me in that film as well, wasn't it? So it was just yeah, like, it was perfect. So it's kind of like, perfect. Yeah, you actually yeah. See, actually the shot. guy, yeah. see what they do, that as well. they call you and they say, we want the guy that gets the shit kicked out of him, yep. let's get him. Yeah. And they call you that. Guys, you know what I mean? Like, I'm happy to do that. It's not about me in real life. They're trying to save the movie, I'm a bit worried now. Josh, let's not leave you out. I know you did it leave you early on, but that's no excuse. Josh, <laughs> talk to us about Teddy. I know you talked about this about Teddy earlier, but what was your inspiration in terms of being part of this movie and what it means to you? Well, it's, you know, you, you, a character like Teddy, you always, you instantly think about, you know, the uh, Drexlers 
you know, your, your Drexler and True Romance and stuff like that, but it wasn't as animated as that. So it's a bit more of a low key uh, drug addicted pimp. Um, <laughs> Kids, so yeah. did you want more, sort of like more stuff in there? What? You're suggesting you wanted some more uh, action. Oh yeah, well yeah, no, it would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You seem really disappointed. Now. And these shows on the camera, you're yeah. really disappointed. There could, there could be a whole film about about these kind of characters. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So I it's, it's never enough. Yeah. As, not, as an actor, if you get a part, you, you, you always want to do more unless you've got the lead. So what you're basically saying is you'd like a movie or revolve around being a pimp and you'd like to be the star of that show. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, you're okay. a client. <laughs> uh, I'll be the client. I'll be the client. Wow, wow. You'll be the client. You'll be the pimp. Somebody gets you out there in the shower. Yep. And you'll be in the shower. What's going on? There you go. There's a move right there. So, this is it. BWTM News and yep. Entertainment. Make sure you're watching and you come and see Two Graves of the Curse in Soho on the 9th of June. Um, please stay tuned to Ida Rose, underscore Ida Rose, Instagram and Twitter. Um, Danielle Harold, um, Neil Ward, Josh Herdman, and come check us out. Woo! Woo!